right guys so now I'm gonna head on and stain the back the basswood with some colonial maple wood stain which is like an orangey brown that I'm looking for so let's go ahead and start it I already made a little pass right here and it's close to the color that I want so the more coats we apply the darker it will get kind of like this so let's see what happens Alright, so we're going to let this dry for a bit and then I'm going to come back and hit it again, probably two to three coats and let's see where that will take us. Alright guys, how's it going? This is the body after I stained it. So I did three coats waiting supposed to wait two hours each I did one coat per day uh, a little bit busy so that came out well but this is a three-piece base basswood body so I'm thinking is either I I stained it and didn't get enough the same amount of stain on every piece or it's just that the grain being different it would soak up the stain differently. Now I did give it a little touch up on the sides and didn't seem to change much at all so I am thinking that maybe the grain is different or I should have taken more care about um, cleaning, wiping off the excess of the stain which I was doing. Um, as you can see came out pretty nice and now I've maxed off the sides and trying to make a full binding now and I tried with some tape it was giving me some some troubles with all these curves so I tried uh, this 3M vinyl tape which goes through the curves pretty nicely but any tight curves you have to cut it into pieces and to make the curve right because if you stretch it too much it will just it will just come off so I'm just going to use this General Finishes Enduro Sanding Sealer uh, this is a satin finish uh, talking with the guy from Big D Guitars and he told me this would be the best way to do full bindings. Now I did change from the blue frog tape to the yellow frog tape because when I used the blue frog tape to stain the body I did get some run some running in the stain to the flame maple so I scraped that off using uh, metal scraper and it came out fine now I want to try the yellow frog tape um, and see what kind of results that will give me so I'm going to open this guy actually I'm not sure if you should shake it Give it a nice shake just in case. Open this up. It has a milky color to it. I don't know if you can 
see that. I don't want to drip any of the guitar, of course. Alright guys, so this is the flame maple top after it got the sanding sealer on the side and it looks it looks fine. It looks really good. The vinyl tape did a really good job. Don't know if the camera can pick it up. Did a really good job on sealing the edge. So yeah. Time to stain the body. So I'm gonna go with uh, orange. So let's see how this turns out. First, I'm gonna start with the black. So this is the final result of the body. Our GoPro started acting funny so I went ahead and finished it. So I stained it black and then I sanded it all off but it looks like it was too much too much black or too pure. I might have uh, used a little bit of uh, diluent to uh, not make it so pure. So I had to sand even more off. I actually ended up taking it all off because I had some blotchiness. And even so, I still ended up with some dots over here. As you can see, if the camera picks it up. So, went ahead with some yellow and orange i'm going to show a little bit of a video did not 
capture the whole thing I'll make sure to do it next time and scrape the edges where the sanding sealer was and the full binding came out nice the only problem is that I did sand it most of the sanding sealer that was on top and that's why I have mostly of the full binding on the sides and just a smidge on the top but that it came out it came out nice I'm sure I can get a little bit more but it came out I'm pretty happy with the results of it being my first guitar so I did clean it up a little bit with naphtha it did kind of look a little vibrant at the beginning of course after staining and then after some time it came out a little bit duller and what really helped me out was using steel wool it did give it a more satin and high definition to the coloring and the grain so that's something I would keep doing in the future